First round of the middleweight championship in San Remo, Italy. There's the bell. We're underway. Marvin Hagler on the left of your screen wearing the red trunks, white stripe. <laughs> Of an up. Right hand scored, but was warned for a little bit of a low blow by Ernesto Magana. But I see some change in Nobel. His style of Fulio Bell. He is obviously going to have to make some. Good right hand by Hagler, scored on the face of Fulio Bell. Hagler, remember, had that rib injury. That was another low blow, and Hagler indicates so, although referee Ernesto Magana set the second round here. And tries to do it again, and again came up a little bit low. Well, the bell has had great success, but there is an awful lot of discussion here, and in fact, everywhere, Fulio Bell's being the number one contender. And Obell continues to try to go downstairs. That is not right hand by Obell. Another good right hand. And that hurt Marvin Hagler a little bit. Hagler comes. And an uppercut and another right. Throw those overhand rights. Hagler seems a little bit bothered. All of the opponent hits that. And puts him in position so he can throw that left hand. Crowd support early on here. Pretty much in favor of Fulio Bell. Third round and Fulio Bell holding his own here for the first two against the champion. Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Should point out. That was Hagler's best combination. You could almost sense Marvin Hagler starting to get in gear a little bit, get into a rhythm. Hand by Hagler that caught Obell right on the chin. Hagler working to the stomach now as well. Comes overhand to the right and scores, and Obell gets out of there. Obell retreating against Alice has a different story because Obell is. By Obell. Obell with a good counter punch with that. Marvin, what's Marvin trying to do? Trying to counter Obell's punches. Well, expect a pretty good crowd down in the Orange Bowl, too. We heard some stories that tickets were in excess. Marvin's going very pleased with the way he's fighting. He's Great left hand head. right there. He's been moving. There was a left hand, and that hurt fully Obell, who covers up for the moment. Looking a little bit awkward with some of his punches. It looks like the first fight because this is when Marvin took control and he was able to hurt for the old bell. He's him up and you're able to come across with the right hand. Just like Marvin just did. Swing it right at Crouch. Goes up, cuts your Brings his head up. In line for a combination. And there we here. This is the fourth round. It went eight the first time. Obell taking a beating in this round from Hagler, another chopping right hand. And there's the uppercut at the bell. So let's see if Marvin Hagler does here in the fifth round. Bell out of there because Obell's moving around. Left he doesn't right seem hand. as confident as he was. Left and a right hand by now. If Bob can get a couple more of those uppercuts in, raise it. Obell staying close now, and that's very dangerous territory. Backs away with the left hand, but he didn't have any leverage behind the punch. Scores and a right hand that scores, and Obell still in close and still taking punishment. And another right hand, and there he goes. Well, He's through, Barry. This one is all over. And that was a smashing right hand that did rhythm after about the second round. Marvin Hagler's handlers have him up on their shoulder now. He's on stage right now. You are the best. And Marvin has really done a job tonight. There's no question about it. But again, I think you really have to say, consider the source. There was never a doubt about this.